Hello and welcome back to the very 12th episode of the Gist In TV show. I am the one with the name that sells high in the realm of entertainment. The one and only Eagle, aka Amber Sean. And of course, y'all know how we do it here at the Gist In TV show. While we make your time worthwhile, all you need to do is just sit back and do nothing. Ladies and gentlemen. Having with me right here today is our very amazing guest, a guest whose presence is brilliant. Please help me welcome Sir Joy. It's yeah. so good to have you, sir. It's an honor to have you to, oh. to have me here. Uh, I've been looking. I've been looking forward to be on this platform. Right oh now. my wow. god! Like I'm a big fan. I've been following. I've been right? following Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Yeah, I'm so honored. Really honored. How are you doing? How is life going here? Man. I, I, if I tell you that it's easy, I lie. Ah, it's not easy. You know, <laughs> but not easy. God's been helping us. Oh. And that's just all that it's matters nice. right that's now. Beautiful. So true. Yeah. yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you just had it from Igu, the one her name said, Hi, in the world of entertainment. You teach me that one, please. Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first episode of the Justin TV show. I see me one and only Giddy's my Telly Talker, aka the ESL Telly Talker. Yeah. You know what me and my team always do? We always thank God for the gift of life. Uh, and of so, course, I come so, from the tree. Yeah. I'm not just the two, but mm -hmm. I am that one you can't outdo. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, I have Igu with me, as I just said. Elia, she's my co-host or let's see my partner yeah. here on the TV show. And yes, we have our guest, Mr. Surgeon, or let's see, Surgeon. Yes, sir. Yes, welcome, yes. welcome. So please um, tell us more about yourself, sir. Okay. Um man, my profile long, sir. Okay. So let me try and be very precise. Yeah. Okay. So Surgeon is actually um first and foremost, I'm a talent help. Talent yes. help. Talent help. Okay. Right. One of my major drive, you know, in this life is to be able to help talented people, to be able to dis help young people discover their talent. Okay. Help them to be able to develop their talent. Help them to be able to maximize their talent. You know. And we also I also create platforms for them to okay. be able to exhibit that talent. Wow. All right. Um, that's nice. Um, so so that's 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 like the the the, the huge part of me. All right. Okay. okay. I'm I'm also a music producer. I'm an audio engineer. Um, I'm also a business person. Okay, what kind yeah. of business? I'm into sugarcane farming. Wow. Sugarcane farming? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow! I want to go to that farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm into sugarcane farming. Okay. Yes, actually. That's nice. Um, so maybe just to stop here. Okay. Just because uh, right. yeah. now, if you should introduce yourself, As you know, uh, we'll go see. It's like that, that will be the whole episode. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah but that, that's nice. That's nice. Most, most importantly, I'm a married man. Yeah. Okay. I'm married. I have a wonderful, beautiful daughter. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Shout out. What's yeah. her name? Her name is Diret. Diret. Shout yeah. out to Diret. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's like you are Magovu. Yeah. Magu, yeah. I'm actually Magovu. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's I'm nice. Local, nice. 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 Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome on set. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good to be here. Okay. So um, today actually we'll, we'll just be just about let's say we're just about some Bible stories. And then we move on. We have some questions. Yeah, right. right. Now we have awesome. Let's go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So without further ado, we're going to dive into today's episode. And guess what? It promises to be great. It promises to be amazing. It promises 100. to be wonderful. So, so, sir, yeah. we don't know if you've heard about this story in the Bible, yeah. Balaam and Balak. If you know about it, can Balaam, you like throw Balaam, Balaam. some light? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, Balaam and Balak. So remind me the story again. <laughs> about about a, a donkey. Yeah. Don't, he don't, meets yeah. Three times and all that. Yes. Yeah, and then he talked to his master. Yeah. Balaam was on his way on his donkey. The yes. donkey has been ridden on for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. When he was going, the donkey first of all changed the direction. He was going straight, and then he now went left. Absolutely. Yes. And he did that three times. Yeah. So the Bible said, and then Balaam strike the donkey three times, times. Mm. yes so um when balam when balam struck the donkey three times then the donkey spoke started to him oh. yes he, the donkey was like um why have you, what was the reason you have struck me okay. these three times yes. that's what the donkey was saying yeah. the donkey let's not forget it's an animal not just a name person yes it was an animal yeah yeah talking to his master i was like what did i do that what, what do i do to deserve these three yeah. strokes you have You've you've laid upon me. Yeah. Obedient to you yeah, all, all these years. years. Yes. Why would you just wipe me these three times? Like, have I been have, have I been doing this to you? Yeah. Then Balaam was like, um, if he had his sword in his hand, he, he would, would even kill 
the donkey and That's then right. God opened his eyes. The reason the donkey was changing corners and going different Further ways, right. yes, was to protect his master, exactly. yeah. if you ask me. Yeah. Because it was only the donkey that was Same. opportune, yes, to the see the angel, ahead. yes, what was ahead. And then when Balaam... And the angel was sent to kill Balaam. Yes. yes. Exactly. The he sword. didn't know. Yes. yes. Okay, so it's like <laughs> the story is coming back to your head or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, that's just the part yeah, one to talk about. Okay. The part one to talk about is the fact that that in God, first yeah. of all, yeah. sent an angel to kill him mm. after asking him to go. To go. Yes. <laughs> it sounded one guy. It sounded like God. God, he tried wine the guy. Yeah, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> so now that guy kind of one now like this, eh? Yeah. Nobody only us, even our viewers out there. I am sure you guys are confused. They are wondering. Yeah, God yeah. said no first time permitted him to go and then wanted to kill him on the way when he was going being he was obedient to yeah. god he was obeying what god was that's telling him exactly so that's do you have any idea why god wanted killing him on his way going to okay so what, whatever i'm going to say is my perception and what i understood yes, yes it's, actually, it's actually not clearly written in the bible yeah, yeah? yeah all right so that's key so you have to understand that he was a he was a prophet yeah it means that he already has a dealing understood how his own master operates okay do you get it yes sir so he knew that when god told him that this is not what i want you understand it's like your master will tell you that don't do this thing yeah. you get then ego now will come tell you say baba make you run this parade now yeah do you get it it's like subduing your master okay right. it's like a subordination okay do you get back Go just tell us you make you go. I want to mess the guy up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah right. choo, choo, choo. Go, make I mess you up. Make I know who be who. Yeah. These are actually the people. Who do you, who are you more afraid of? Yeah. In the first place, your master said no. No is no. no. There is no amount of pressure that will put you into doing that. You yeah. know, but it's like he was so he was, I think he's probably more comfortable working with the people yes you know that and actually adhering you know to his master yes you know so true. somehow it was like a disobedience okay all right mm. yeah so i think like i said my opinion yeah i think god wanted to teach him a lesson okay that i am i am superior mm. it doesn't matter who and what do you understand yeah, yeah. Right. exactly so i stand superior that's nice you know so that's about what i think the whole story was all about okay okay so um we don't know if you've also heard about this story in the bible yeah about um the mighty man of david ha. <laughs> the mighty man of david yeah i heard i heard david said he wanted to drink water yes you know there's certain water he wanted to drink yeah yeah and so he told his guys papa i want to drink that water and so the water before you go go the place where the water did you guys pass through a troop of i'm now not sure is it philistines now yeah, it should I'm be the philistines sure. yes the philistines i'm not very 100 percent sure yeah. about you know exactly yeah so he went they went you know this the to go and bring that, yes, the that water. water you know and they did yes they did they did you bring know. it and one, one surprising did. thing is that david he didn't he yeah, didn't even he take didn't the water yeah. when they brought it the guy said Baba, don't wait, you know. i don't understand yeah. that's another thing you know and after so sending, go, see, okay, from a lot, a lot, a lot of one kid about three hundred, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. with with his sword. He said that that sword went cold deep into his hands. Yeah. That, he couldn't. Yes, he couldn't. Yes, it took, yes. It took time before his grip. He said even yeah. if he leave it like this, it won't even fall exactly. down. Exactly. Like he said, eight hundred men, bad. yeah, eight hundred men. Like I don't understand. Please, sir, I need <laughs> your help <laughs> because. <laughs> For someone to kill, just just that guy. Yeah. That's just one of the one three. Of the Absolutely. Three, yes. One of the Killed eight hundred. Not just. See, we're talking about eight hundred. See, if I have eight hundred views on this, on this, <laughs> on this um, episode, trust me, it's it's mind blowing. Yeah. You understand on YouTube to to blow my mind. Yeah. Then now you kill eight hundred men just to get what your master asked you for. Yes. And, and then take he didn't take it. He didn't if take like, I don't understand. Please, <laughs> let somebody on AC. On AC. <laughs> you know, yeah. You so you see, yeah. These people they understood. They on they remember that they are soldiers, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So they understood order. Mm. You get yeah. Okay. So you as a normal civilian, you go look at you go the things say when 
Do you understand? Yeah. It, it doesn't matter what your what your wish is. Okay. As long as your 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 commander tells you do this, do this. that's it. Wow, shout out to all the soldiers out there. You know, shout out yeah, to you guys. Man. Seriously, because yeah, if it is me, oh, but I will flog you sit down. You must take this water. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you yeah, mean? And you, also, you also have to understand that, yeah, sometimes, right, it's just my thoughts, mm -hmm. right? King David, David is a David was a king, yeah. Hmm. But at, at this at that particular time, he 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 was like the king of um the army of Israel. And at that time, Israel was like the most the most um, strongest army yeah. at that time. After he yeah. killed Goliath, yeah. yeah. So imagine that the strongest guys, three people, do you understand? Yeah. Three people dealt with just how many? Do you understand? Yeah? Thousand. So imagine what the other enemies of Israel will be now thinking. Hmm. If only three can do this, what about oh, the yes. entire army? Yeah. So I feel like it was like a scare tactic. It was not to be there, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, but like, it was not written though, but it's yeah. just my mindset. I'm like, yes, this can actually be a, a, a war strategy because you know, they, they, they were actually living in a time where you know they gain they get they gain their freedom by 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 fight, yeah, by, by battle, fight. yeah, true, right. So, um, from your from your field, you um, let's see, more of a producer, yeah. you mix, yeah, audio and stuff, yeah, yes, sir. So, um, about let's say the shall I say the cycler. Okay. The secular art is out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's the secular and there's gospel. Yeah. We all know that is yeah. secular yeah. and gospel. Okay. <laughs> so um from let's say your your hometown okay. here, all here right. where you be is yeah. Why if, if I'm 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 not really sure, but okay. for me I haven't really seen any any collaboration between the gospel and uh secular artists. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Okay, so I think this is uh I think the only person I know of is Flevo, and that is um Saini, that guy, that that that's blind get up right? blind, blind. Guy, yeah. yeah, yeah, true. Okay. That's the one I've seen so far here in Nigeria. Yes, yes. So I don't know if there is there any, if there's any you can let me know and you tell me your name so soon, please. You can't sing a spiritual song, all right, as a secular artist. You can't sing a spiritual song. You can't. You can't sing a spiritual can't. song. Can't. You can't. Wow. Mm. You okay. can't sing a spiritual song. Do you get it? Mm. Because, all right, the Bible says that, the Bible says that um, mm. only they that are in the spirit, right, mm -hmm. can be able to sing. I'm, I'm paraphrasing now, okay. all right, but you know the scripture that I'm actually yeah. talking about, cool. right, can actually be able to sing in spirit and in truth. Okay. okay. Do you get my point? I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head. Don't worry, man. It. You're going to get it. Okay. And if you have the spirit, it will not allow you to sing and say certain things. Okay. So, like for instance. So let me let me yeah. shock you, please. Yes. So you're trying to tell me that now, all the gospel artists we have out there. Yes, sir. Before they sing or record any music, they are being led by the spirit. Oh, okay, so it's far from even what I'm even talking about, Joe. Because you see, as a music producer, I've worked with a lot of kind of, you know, and all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have people who are secular, sort of like secular, right? Okay. You, you know, the tag secular. Yeah. They come to my studio and they say, Baba, before we go, we go gas pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I will pray. I know the song they are going to sing is Shake Your Bumbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. No kidding, bro. Wow. And you pray about it. They tell you that they believe God. They believe see Baba and God they make it so. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, they have that belief system. Yeah. But that's not what I'm actually talking about. Because you see, he's wanting to believe God and he's wanting to is another thing that that God that you believe in, all right, you um how do I put it now so that I don't sort of like derail certain people? Mm, take your turn. This God where you believe is wanting to believe that you know um god i believe in god yes all right is also one thing to live by his standards okay oh. wow yes so they might not be living according to his standards but they believe god mm. in fact they even go church bro yeah a lot yeah. A, a lot of people yeah, believe, yeah. Church. No, 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 no. actually for me if you ask me a, a lot of us i am not judging or saying anything but a lot of people out there yeah. actually believe that yes this god exists exactly. but then they don't actually live 
That's yeah. exactly on his standard. yes, uh, according to standard yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, but still yet, yes. Mm. I haven't still understand the reason why now those two wouldn't like even yeah, so, so let me tell you a, a secular me, artist must not really come and sing um shake your bomb bomb exactly yeah. that's all yeah. so i was trying to actually balance okay, it yes so uh-huh. you get it i was trying to balance uh-huh. it yeah you see there are music that i feel that you can it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. you can't sing it whether you're a gospel or secular artist okay. do you get it like for instance um there are a lot of things happening in the society yeah right yeah. you know rape kidnap yes all the wars that are happening all of that yeah you know it's like a guy and he can't come and talk about it can't sing about it but why do you understand that so i think it's just the mindset okay, okay. you know we have sort of like it's segregation yeah the moment this guy is secular is like the guy me and you our parts no fit yeah. cross so not if he's supple you yeah. get the point yeah. but, you but, but you having the power have you have you ever tried like let's say um futuring this, yeah, this, 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 yes, I have, I you have. have, um, two or three years ago, four years ago, and I'm now, I'm now, I'm not very sure. Okay. I started a project called, um, um, Speak Niger. Okay. okay. So Speak Niger is basically a, uh, was rather, sort of like on the post now. Okay. It's sort of like an orientative kind of a project, you know, where, um, using, artistic people most especially rappers singers yeah. um, spoken word artists painters mm-hmm. you know to be able to create um is to be able to sing about certain stuff that's actually going mm-hmm. on in the society i'm able to encourage other young people to stay out of vices yeah. project our nation in a very good light yeah you know um be able to profile setting solutions using artistry okay so we did uh, a lot of collaborations with artists. I think I worked with over 60 wow, wow, or wow. more artists, yes. So there was a blend of gospel, you know, and secular guys. Okay. Yeah, but they wow. were talking about real, um, the real, deal the real that's issues going on, yeah. that's going on. So whether you're a Christian or you're a Muslim or whatever it is that you are, this thing, they, they affect you. Yeah. So we're talking about it, not as a Christian, as a Muslim or as an atheist or whatever you know we're talking about it as humans yes okay, okay yeah. so moving forward okay if there's any character you want to be in the bible what character would that be character yes. so humans or yeah, human. humans. Human. humans okay humans. um I, I think for me jesus jesus, jesus himself. yes jesus himself wow, wow. <laughs> okay yes. yes jesus himself and this is my reason my reason is um um i see jesus as one of the most down to earth person mm. and i like his kind of person you know someone who can you know chill with prostitutes chill with prostitutes yeah yeah not chilling in the way you're thinking you're right wow. like what hanging out thinking? yeah oh. hanging out with prostitutes wow yeah, yeah. and so you also th- see um the likes of of Zacchaeus you know yeah he went and then he was chilling with the guy in his alley you have to understand who Zacchaeus was you know the bible didn't carry everything about Zacchaeus but Zacchaeus was sort of like a corrupt guy yes mm. yes you get to find out uh, towards the ending part of that story yeah you know where Zacchaeus said um anybody where I don't shit before I go pay the guy times two yeah. so they're about True. tells you that the guy is a corrupt guy yes so it's more you of know? the presence of jesus actually yeah, yeah. made him even that's like how, yeah. yes wow that's that's it looked, even as if, wow. it looked as if he was moving with the people that were not really what's the word now they were not really into the christian life like the prostitutes yeah and then those are the kind of yeah. yeah. people he, were, he was yeah, exactly with. he was rolling with those kind of guys hmm. one of the things that tripped me right about jesus was the fact that have you ever wondered why Judas had to kiss Jesus before the Romans were able to grab mm. the guy? No. Never thought about it yet. Okay. It was because of his simplicity. Mm. He was too down to earth here. Yeah? He was too humble. He was too simple that the Romans could not could not identify who was Jesus among the disciples. 
that was the only reason why Jesus had to go and kiss yes, the guy. Yes, wow. yes, 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 true. You get it. Yeah. That was the only reason because he don't really who is the Jesus? He wasn't really wearing any senior. Yeah, you could not you know, get one kind level with one kind of three star or seven star. You know that guy was a very normal guy. So you had to be pointing. They had to go and find the way to see Papa that this guy be the guy. Even though they feel they feel all kind of Peter. Yes, because Peter get the ginger. I do have Jesus. Wow. So I I like his attributes, you know. Mm. He was a very down to earth person, yes. very humble, very nice, easy, you know, growing yeah. guy. Remember the yeah. story where the children came? Yeah. And the disciples were saying, Yeah, I know, you know, if you can't touch this guy, why the guy say, about you? Make I chill with my guy. Yeah. My own boy. True, true, yeah, true. So I, I think I like his person. That, that's, I mean, there's anybody I want to be, I just want to be like Jesus. Yes, that's nice. Wow, yeah. that's so even, even so I would love to be like Jesus. Love to be like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, okay. So um moving forward again, what is your favorite Bible verse at any time, anywhere? You will always want to quote it. Yes. To anybody. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 1. Okay. Just yes. remember your creator. In the days of your youth, hmm. you know, before those evil times will come, that you cannot be able to honor God. Um, talking about speaking in tongues. Okay. You said okay when you speak in tongues, there are those who listen from from anywhere. Yeah. And then translate. Okay. She. Yeah. You, I'm, I'm not sure. It's like you where they speak. I'd be like, you know, know what they talk. When a person okay. inside the crowd or somewhere i don't know go for interpreter my question we see now those way they speak the tongues do they do they go and find those that will interpret it for them so now where i speak in tongues i know if you just speak in tongues and go, okay what message at least even though you don't know what you said and even the bible has, has the bible has supported you and said that okay you yourself you don't know what you say so like Finding out what you said isn't that wouldn't that be concerning for you? Like, mm. wouldn't you want to? You how would they? Say. Yes, like because everybody's just speaking in tongues these days, and there's no interpreters. Like, mm. I I mean, in the, in the interpreters, they need trenches. I don't understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> get so now to dive into your um question, right? Yeah. So, so you have to understand that um the issue of speaking in tongues will require a lot more time right usually what i do with people is i want us to actually study the scripture together okay so that you understand this whole stuff all right it's not a mystery it's not even a confusion mm -hmm. it's just that you don't understand all right so it's something that will require good bible study so that you'll be able i, I don't want to tell you something that sounds as if it's it's my opinion okay. my understanding right mm -hmm. i'll show you in the scripture so that you'll be able to understand better but i'll try for the purpose of um you know, just yeah, trying to clear the air yeah. and time and all. I'll try and simplify it, right? Mm. Okay. So you have to understand that in the Bible, there are two kinds of speaking in tongues. Okay. Yes. There is the one that the Bible spoke about when you speak in the body of Christ to the body of Christ. That type of speaking in tongues requires that there is an interpreter. Okay. Because you are speaking to men. Mm -hmm. you get so if i come here and i'm speaking to these people in a language that they do not understand there is no communication am i right yes mm -hmm. so that's why the bible was saying that at that level you would need an interpreter there's also another type that type is you speaking to god wow that's the other type of speaking in tongues exactly okay. there's the one that you speak to men that one requires that you there must be an interpreter but the one that you are speaking to God, the Bible says, it is your spirit. Even you don't know. It's your spirit communicating to God. Mm -hmm. the, the scripture you quoted. Okay. Yes. The scripture wow. you quoted was actually talking about you, the type of speaking in tongues that you don't even know. It is your spirit that is actually speaking to God. Okay. And because that is the spirit of, that is the language of God. I love you to use the word language. All right. Because I feel language is even limiting God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. in the universe where uh, let's not go into that yeah okay. but let's just just agree that that's the language of god yeah <laughs> right true yeah so it is your spirit the spirit of god that is inside of you that is communicating to god 
So God knows exactly what you're saying. So that one is between you and, you and God, God. You you are are God. God. In, your, in your closet, exactly. like in your room. You can't do it. No, you can do it anywhere. You can do it anywhere. It's the purpose that differentiates it. Okay. Do you understand? It's the purpose that differentiates it. If I am here with people and I'm speaking in tongues, I'm speaking to God, it don't concern you. How I started speaking in tongues, I went to Believer's um, School of... Believer's School. Believer's School. Um, my boss at that time, and still my boss now, DNA Kaskida. Shout out to you, sir. Well, shout out to you, boss. Yeah, I, he was... And still my mentor, right? He was mentoring us in music and he mentored us all around. Okay. Right? So he was the person that brought us. That's the church he attends. So they do this special program for believers, most especially those ones who are just young and, and, and they're just coming into the yeah. system. Yeah. They invited us and we were part of it. And we were discussing about a whole lot. They were training us about a whole lot of, you know, um, Christian stuff and all. So they now talked about speaking in tongues, all right? And they also gave avenue to be able to help people to speak in tongues, right? So they pray along with you so that you can speak. I didn't speak in tongues, all right? Okay. I didn't speak in tongues. Some of my guys, they just form them because mm -hmm. they be like, say, if you know, they felt like if you don't speak in tongues, they're not going to stop till they pray for your head. <laughs> so some, okay. some were claiming, you know, but nice they didn't, concept. you know, and all. I, nice I, I didn't. I, didn't. I, I felt like something was wrong with me, yeah. Yeah. you know, and all of that. But so, later at night, mm. later at night, around 12 or 1, I heard something touched me. I can never forget that episode. Wow. Never in my life. Hmm. I heard something touched me, and I woke up. I was sleeping. I can still remember exactly where I was sleeping. I was sleeping in our, in our palo at that time on a long couch, you know, and all. Something tapped me and I woke up and I checked, checked, checked. There was nobody. I slept. Something tapped me and I slept. When I woke up, something said pray. Then I started praying, praying. Before I knew, I started speaking in tongues. That's how I spoke in tongues. Wow. Yeah, that was it. Your, your skin in leads. Sort of, however it is. Okay. That's how it came for me. Wow. All right. Some other people, you you pray, you know, that particular type that they say, okay, come, yeah. you know, they teach you how to do that. The truth of the matter is, it's not scriptural that they will teach you how to speak in tongues. Because can you teach what you don't know? Exactly. You get it? You can't Good teach question. someone how to speak in tongues, but you can create an environment that the person can speak in tongues. A lot of people feel intimidated because the church or the fellowship or you know or the program that you attend mm. you know they make people feel lesser if you don't speak in tongues so you you don't want to go into a place where you know you're not going to be looking like you're not spiritual yes or like you're not let me even choke you here do you know that speaking in tongues is not is not is not it's not a sign that you're spiritual see talk for another day wow yes go and find out in the scripture, go and find the fruit of the spirit. You will mm. never see speaking in tongues inside. Hmm. Now, please, now, that's not to say that speaking in tongues is not important. It's very important. It's important. Do you understand? But it's not a sign that you're spiritual. Okay. You can baba, you can shaba baba, yeah. And you are not spiritual. Oh boy. Hmm. Spiritual in the sense of spiritual, really. You don't have the fruit of the spirit. You're not patient. You're not kind. You're not loving. Do you understand? Hmm. Yes, and that's what is more important to God than speaking of us. So there's another question I have, just for like let's say the human self, the human body. I don't know if you've gone into that side of the scriptures or anything, but there's what I want to understand. Okay, right. so like let's say from the story of um the Tower of Babel, mm. how the men said they would build the tower so high that it's going to the cloud and then you see God. Well, how dumb, first of all, how dumb they are, first of all. So, um, <laughs> that time they, were, they were not dumb because they, they, they didn't know some things, Sha. Yeah. Good. And then God had to like, give, he, he, he descended different kind of languages to confuse and confuse. scatter them. And he, God himself said, in the Bible, I'm quoting from the Bible. Yeah. He said, if he should leave, he said, we should call, go down there and scatter their tongue to different languages. Because if we should leave them, they will actually... It's possible. Yeah, it's possible for them to go up there. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm not saying that God was scared that you'll come and meet him because you're not even going to meet him. But then he scattered that. So now, <laughs> now, were they praying 
to God. I'm sure that they were not praying to God okay. when they were building it. That's how that thing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm sure, but okay. for me, yeah, it's possible that they were not even praying to God for him to even come. God, if he had prayed to him, he would. He would ask them to not do that. And if he asked them, if he had told them not to do that, and he started, he did. Uh, he, he he gave them different language that they couldn't talk and communicate with themselves, right? Okay. So you see that now, us now the human, the humans, ourselves have a another kind of i don't know what what word to use let's say another kind of fire in us or another kind of powers in us because first of all not that they were working i don't know they were not working, working, working with the devil <laughs> yes <laughs> they were not doing that thing because for me i feel like it's joblessness that would have brought that one <laughs> yes i feel it's joblessness because god had to come down scatter their tongues Mm. So I try to tell me that now, like this, us the human is there anything the human body is capable here yeah, is capable of capable. doing? Yes, why not? Without being connected to Christ. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yes. So you see the story of Babel, right? Mm-hmm. You have That's to understand that now a lot of people have been able to build successful mm-hmm. towers of Babel mm-hmm. right now that they are going up to see God. Yes. Hello, Mox. No. <laughs> what I'm saying is spiritual. Okay. okay. It's not like the physical Tower of Babel. The purpose, the purpose was the purpose of Tower of Babel was to go oh, and see, see God. God. Right. People are bu- people have been building and are building towers, right, spiritually yes, and not physically, and they are meeting God. They are seeing God. Wow. Do you understand, right? But, so, but that's also a story for another time. Ha, there's a lot of story we'll be for another It's like, it's like we'll, we'll bring you back again for another episode. All right, so so you see, so God was not intimidated. That, uh, no, these people are going to come meet me. This one, uh, no, it's, God was not. It was when the, when, it was when pride started to set in. We won't go show God, say, we feel run this thing. Yeah. I go say, ah, oh, so that's where you be. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Me himself shoes in a him be the creator. Wow. Okay. So when I want to chance me. That's 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 he, that's, that's he, crazy. He, imagine what he used. He didn't destroy them. You mm. know, in the in the twig of an eye, fire would just come and just consume them. Imagine yeah. what God thought about and mm. just destabilize the plan. Language. Language. Lack of communication. Yes, when you say, Baba, bring smell for me. This one, they hear shovel. <laughs> when you say, this one, they bring shovel. This one, they hear, you know. They hear wow, material. very, very He true. just scattered it from the place of wisdom. And I don't even think God operates in the place of wisdom and knowledge. I feel it's an earthly thing. Hmm. <laughs> God is in a realm where we can't even describe how he operates. Hmm. Do you get the point? So God was not so angry about wow. it. No, he wasn't. Tower of Babel is not a big deal. Wow. It was just the purpose that God was fighting. Yeah. That's why I said now <laughs> people are building towers of Babel and they are going to see God. Spiritually. Spiritually. Wow. So you have to understand that no matter what you man do, you can't get to God. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can't. Because you see, <laughs> no matter what you do, I mean, physically now, yeah. you cannot get to God. Do you understand? Okay. Let me tell you why. The simple reason is because God is not even in heaven. Hmm. <laughs> God is not in heaven. God is not in heaven. Yeah. God is not so in heaven. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Partially agree. Partially. So let me let me just be able to throw more light. All right. Let, okay. me, let, me, let me throw more light so that people are not confused out there. Yeah. Mm. The Bible says God created the heavens and the earth. Okay. So where was God when he was creating heaven? Come on, come on. If you ask me where was God when he was creating heaven, when he was creating, when you are believing in house, it doesn't mean you can't be in that house now. I would say he was in the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Where was the atmosphere? It wasn't <laughs> created. <laughs> there, was, there was no creation, you know, yeah. before creation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. See, this, 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 this is a, this is now I'm able to say this is a story for another day. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard it from our boss, I'm Sir Surgeon, and my co-host, of course, Eagle Power. Yeah. Yes, I'm um, shout out to um 
Queen's transformation. transformation. Yes. Got me looking this bad. And <laughs> shout out to Estelle's impression. They got me looking this beautiful. Wow. Just in case you want to look this beautiful, you can follow them on IG at Estelle's impression and send them a direct message to look this beautiful. You want to look this beautiful? With us now like this, I went and she was like, no, she can't walk on my face. Oh, I was yeah. like, why? She said, I don't have the money to pay. I was like, how much? How much? Oh God, God will provide that to you. So it was nice having you on set so same here man I'm, I'm really honored wow it's really yes. a privilege we, we, we yeah. learned a lot and I'm, I'm happy that you came thank you yes sir. thank you very much um so ladies and gentlemen that's all for today um yeah. shout out to all of our sponsors and our partners for our sponsors we got the north space yeah, the north yeah. space is everything entertainment it's yeah. anything anything entertainment you can come in for your studio sessions your the hazards anything you want the north yeah. space got you covered that's shout out covered. to our partners we got Blue Rose Models. We got Isaac Nelsler. And I got Zera for PF. And also yeah. Peabody Graphics. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Peabody. Keep, Keep watching Just In TV Show. Yes, don't forget our viewers. Yeah. Please subscribe also. 